Well, hello again, everyone. I'm Pastor George W. Reese, Jr., the pastor of This Rock Christian Tabernacle, where Jesus Christ is Lord. And on behalf of my wife, Pastor Mary E. Reese, and all of This Rock uh, membership, we just welcome you to this broadcast. And I pray that it's doing something to help motivate you and keep you spiritually fed. Now, on today, the subject I would like to talk about is... Uh, being uh having some self-confidence in yourself and what you can do amen because you know we we in a time right now where people confidence is lacking a lot and because of the circumstances that are going on around and but there's a lot of things that you can do for the lord and for yourself if you keep god first there's nothing that you cannot do and the Bible tells us, I can do all things through Christ with strength in me. When you put God first in your life and in everything that you do, he gives you the ability to be able to do whatever he gives you a mind to do. And you have to remember when he gives you a vision, he has already made provision for your vision. Now, sometimes we just don't understand how these things are going to come about. But if you just keep pressing forward and thinking, oh, I'm not doing this by myself. Jesus is with me. I can do it. I can do whatever he calls me to do. You know, you can have some joy, some peace in your life. You can go about and being constructive, creative. You might be going into entrepreneurship, you know, opening up a business or being the best on your job and going getting your education and and uh, making the most out of your marriage and and just go and just be positive and have some joy in everything that you are doing. And knowing that with Jesus on your side, he has already made provision for your vision. He has already worked it out. And all you're doing is going through the motion and just having a positive attitude, knowing that I can do it. I can do it. Just like uh that little red uh, train in that book way back when. <laughs> and that train was climbing that hill and just chugging up that hill. It looked like you're running out of gas and he had to keep saying, I can do it, chuck a chuck. I can do it. And in your life, everything's not going to come easy. It, it, things just don't come easy. But you got to have some confidence in yourself. And sometimes people, uh, get you, they misunderstand your confidence as you being cocky or out of sorts, but don't worry about that. Trust Jesus is doing it. And you can go forth and you can conquer and climb the highest mountain and, you know, and be successful in your life and in your relationship with God. Because we live, look at living in a time right now where you're being challenged and, and there are challenges everywhere. <laughs> there are struggles everywhere. Everywhere you look, it's not easy. And I don't want you to think that life is easy and that you can just go through and be a sluggard and think that you're going to get things. You know, good things come to those that put their hands to something. God wants you to work. He wants you to be able to work in him and let him work in you. Uh, because we, we are put here for his purpose to glorify him and everything you do. So if you have a good marriage, oh, God is glorifying your marriage when your marriage is glorifying him and your job, your occupation and your education and your uh, uh, sports and just in your recreation. <laughs> just, you know, when you have a vacation, you know, a lot of times people think I can't afford to take a vacation. I don't have money for this. I can't do, you know, Mr. I can't is not in our vocabulary when we are walking in Christ. We can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. Remember that. When, when you got on the job and you're digging a ditch and you get tired, you can say, I can do it. I can do it in Christ which strengthens me. You know, and as you we are in the football season right now, and you see the athletes they're out there uh, performing and exercising and they're trying to get the position on the team, but they had to work. They had to work at it. Everything that you do, amen, you have to work at it at it. So develop some good work ethics. and But most of all, keep Jesus in the midst. Keep him going forth. 
knowing that you can do all things, <laughs> whatever it is, all things, you can do it through Christ with strength of you. Amen. Come on, have a little chuckle. <laughs> so I can do all things through Christ with strength of me. Until next time, bye now.